and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the best of three standard gauntlet. You can see the three decks that we picked out to play today. We're going to be playing some Taric Draven, some Poros Give It All, and some Nocturne Nightfall. Decided for that one for the third deck. Um, even though it does overlap a little bit with having Targon like Taric Draven, um, so it's not perfect. I kind of wanted to have three different decks with all different regions, but just decided to go with this Nightfall deck because it's very strong. And so I'm pretty confident in all three of these decks. Um, so yeah, we're going to play this gauntlet. Let's confirm our deck choices. <clears throat> okay, so each one of these matches is going to be a best of three match. And um, if we lose, then then we have a, another chance. You know, like it's it's one of those like where it's if you lose twice in a row, then you're out. You all probably know the format of the gauntlets by now. And um, and we're gonna try to get to four wins to get the prime glory. So let's see how we do with this format. Okay, so the three decks, basically how this works is we pick one deck to ban from the opponent. I think I'm gonna ban the... I'm just gonna ban a really insult trundle. All right, we gotta, we gotta win with both of our decks. So I'll just start, you know, just do this Taric Draven first. I'm not sure. Like, all, all those decks were kind of equal. Like, I I could have seen banning any of those three decks. Like, the... Like, this deck's pretty good. Gangplank Sejuani. I think that deck's um, underrated. And the other deck, the Tom Kench Sorakas, can be annoying to play against. So we got one drop on turn one, two drop on turn two, and then one plus two on turn three. This looks just fine to me. Let's lead with... So basically we're leading with Solari Soldier, Legion Saboteur. Let's lead with the Solari Soldier. Okay, you've been playing Whirling Death over the Guiding Touch. Enteric Draven. I think that makes sense. Yeah. Whirling Death is, is really strong. I'm playing the Guiding Touch to try to make Taric a little better, but um, yeah, it's it's the weakest card in the deck. Yeah, like, this is definitely the, the worst card in the deck. So yeah, I don't mind that at all. And of course, we want to play the Saboteur first to turn on the Pill Cascade. And so we want to do this so that they don't get the point of damage to me because they want to do Nexus damage every turn. So that's an important, um, that's an important parlay doing that one point of damage. Yeah, Whirling Death counts as a target for for Taric, but it's not something that you can, you know, copy over and cast multiple times. That's kind of what our guiding touch is able to do. Open wide, sugar. Draven by itself or Legion Grenadier plus Mountain Goat. It's probably better to play two attackers. This matchup here, I think I think this being Whirling Death would look better in hand. Ugh. That's annoying. Not my first gun fight. That was a good petty officer. I'll put out those multiple blockers. They're at four. No, they're at three. Okay, that's better. There's plenty of killing left. Carved 
from the savage cold. And they were thinking about just not playing Sejuani? Really? Ugh. Uh, <clears throat> how? Job. I didn't even consider not playing Sejuani. I'll be quick. Born for conquest. Well, I want to play the Crescent Guardian, but now we could try to heal the Kato to keep it alive. This attack's making me... Oh no, cause make it rain cost two, so they probably have parlay. So if I if I save Kato, I'm going to have to play the Guiding Touch and the gem on it. You to make sure it doesn't die to... Boredom? So that means I'm tapping out. So that means we have seven mana next turn, so I would not be able to play Kato and Crescent Guardian. But we're still talking about saving a Kato. I'm not playing. I'm not playing the Mountain Goat. We're gonna use Transfusion here. Um, Eyes blazing, brightest torches. Go time. Watch and learn. Mm, it's better to do this. I give you muscles. Right, four out of five. So if they have double warning shot, you know, they frostbite my whole team and the game's probably over because then they have leveled up Sejuani. Okay. So the onus is on them to do something. Leave no survivors. So I saving my like that Pell Cascade, keeping that parlay from doing damage to me was real important because otherwise this, um, otherwise this Sejuani would have been leveled up. So they're going to three. So I can I can try to kill them, and I think I do. So this is 6 over 1 with the Draven and 1 damage from the Grenadier dying for the 7. There we go. Alright, what to know. Well, I guess... Maybe we... Alright, so they did switch decks. Alright, Poros against Tom Kench. So our Poros can be elusive. That's going to be an important thing. What's Mystic Shot going to be doing in this matchup? Probably not that much. We need to find some Poros snacks. The Lonely Poro doesn't do anything. I don't care about this Lonely Poro. I'm, I'm keeping the Lonely Poro to discard. I thought it was just a fine card to discard, but I guess if, if all I need is a card to discard, I guess maybe I should mulligan it to help increase the chances that we draw a uh, Poro Snacks. Regen. Yeah, poor, I think Porobot's still bugged. If you, if Porobot comes in with Quick Attack, and then you play Porobot, you get a second random keyword. So I mean, I guess I guess we can check. I, I think it still is. I haven't heard that it's been fixed. Let's play this first. Yeah. So it came in with Scout also. <clears throat> so quick attack and Scout. So attacking... 
Attacking with it does allow them to block with the Star Shepherd. This could backfire, but even if it backfires, we're just it's just a 2-3. And that's a way they could backfire. But of course, if I if I didn't try that, could have held on to it. Maybe we draw give it all, and then we give all these elusive scout, um, so that you know we get to attack multiple times. This may allow me to kill the crusty codger. so it doesn't get healed to grow the star shepherd. Cool. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. Our mountain groves are full of dangers, but I know them all. I'll protect you. Vi stands for violence. Hope they don't have, don't have hush. I'm still good to scrap. Here's the fun part. Freeze. Mm, they do. So I want to draw Give It All. That's my best draw. I feel you feel That's why we're called Poros Give It All. Give It All. Right here. Hmm. Lifesteal. <clears throat> Lifesteal's not the most necessary. Hmm. Spoke then. Coming to save the day. What a wreck Yeah, that's true. It's better they use the hush right there when my Vi attacked than in response to a give it all. So this still leaves me with one mana. We're going to have seven new next mana, so we'll have eight total mana, so we will have the ability to cast a give it all. Come on, give it all. No. What do you got? Tough? Hmm. So I'll still attack with all these. <clears throat> do I want my Mighty Poro to do three damage to that thing? Yeah, honestly, maybe I just have to kill the, the Star Shepherd. I was thinking about that, too. Honestly, I'm, I may have to just do this. Because <clears throat> this thing's... I was looking at that. This thing's very... Very scary with me being at 14. I was, I was looking at like, how I was going to play defense against that. and I think this may be just what I have to do. Give it all should still be good enough with having you know, turning all these into 3-3s. Three with Elusive, that should still be just fine. So I... Get back here! I make shepherding look easy. Mm. I'll protect you. Fury. Well, we're out of Mystic Shots. I'm not going to draw any more of those. Yeah, Aurora Port. Yeah, that's true. I've, yeah, we have Poro Snacks. Sure. Drain Mystic Shot for a Spell Shield. So yeah, we want <clears throat> Aurora Porealis, Poro Snacks, or um, or Give It All. So yeah, we have a lot of good good draws. Fearsome. No, we don't need fear some. Table 
over for one, if you the blind. There we go, poor snacks. Not bad. So they're at 12. They're getting there. Yay, Aurora Porealis. I guess I want to take less damage so that it's harder for them to win with Star Spring. Um, I guess I'll play Challenger. Uh, Challenger or Spell Shield. I mean, they know about this. Poro snacks. Like, I don't even think they should do that, right? Because they just want, like, they should just get, like, the one heal. Because they're going to have, that was going to go to six, that was going to go to 16. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess they can't really win. They probably just can't win. I'm sure there's something for my team. <clears throat> All right, GGs. There we go. Best of three. Got the first one, and we're one and zero. Victory. That's satisfying. All right, this is uh, game number two. I'm going to get rid of either the first or the last. I think I may just get rid of the Twisted Fate Elise deck. Yeah. Let's just get rid of that one. Alright, Tarek Draven, lead us off. Hmm. They can, they can do some good blocking. This can be tough. I love the Kato the arm, but obviously it's not until turn 5. Ugh, all three of these are good cards, but you know, I want to have like one drop and curve out and stuff. And we don't have Draven. Or Tarek, we have neither of our champions. But Kato is so good. And so is Pill Cascade. Okay, no. It is, it is possible that I shouldn't play Grenadier, so that when playing Draven, I have, like, I could go Draven and then have Pale Cascade for attacking against like a Soraka. Yeah, because then I'd be able, to, I would have been able to kill Soraka. But of course, they could have Pale Cascade and everything like that too. I'm gonna with three, three pump spells in hand. I'm just gonna pass, and obviously Soraka can just heal herself, like. Doesn't seem like the best attack. Let us peruse this establishment's fair. What are you waiting for? It is me. I know I have the Pale Cascade, but I don't I don't want them to know about the Pale Cascade. I want to play the card they know about. Yuck. Friend. 
understand. So yeah, I wish I didn't play this Legion Grenadier. You know, it would add Draven attack, they block. I don't know. I guess they, they would have the Sun Blessed cards and everything. But yeah, good hand. You know, both champions and then and then all protection. Uh, good hand. I'm sure there's something for my taste. Each life a rare jewel. To be savored in perpetuity. Stars fall. Take heart. Hmm. The mountain endures. Death doesn't scare me. So that's two targets for Tarek. Wow. With I -E, my own. Wow. All unbelievers will see the light. That hurts. Live with purpose. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Okay. That's a great draw. Dazzling. Got axes, need victims. Devotion to battle. Never submit. Go no. That's a great draw. So we basically have to, you know, so like Pale Cascade saves it for like that like that's the cheapest card that saves it, but then also Bastion. I want them to tap under Bastion, hopefully. I think they would have played Pale Cascade over Bastion if they would have had it. Perfect. Great draw. I don't change fate, but I can see it. Hmm, that's a very good card for them, though. By starlight, take heart, live with purpose. Dang. Yeah, maybe I'll regret the axe. I did. Okay. Playing against the ramp deck. I guess we'll go on over to Boros and then go back to Terra. Draven. I guess I, I guess I had to spinning axe. That was just the wrong call by me. I was too excited about the Coaling Strike, and I, you know, I like, played the Coaling Strike and hit okay. And honestly, after I hit the Coaling Strike, I thought, you know, I should probably be playing that Spinning Axe also. But, you know, like, I was just too excited about the Coaling Strike okay, and that pa passes my priority. I need to slow down there just a second. Here's him. Ancient Yeti. I was thinking I was going to get the elusive and put an elusive into play. That's what I was hoping. I mean, I could just, like, attack in and use Troll Chain and my thing doesn't die. I guess I'll just play that. Wow. 
One girl wrecking crew. Six. There's the one two punch. Really hope they don't have ruination next turn. Stay out of there. If they're out there, I'll spot them. <laughs> Challenger and fearsome. Ooh, I like that Aurora Porealis. This looks like the move of somebody that has um, somebody that has a ruination. Um, I think Precious Pet's probably better than Saboteur right now, than Legion Saboteur right now. Um, for a one drop, I think the Fierce, because there's a lot of two power things. So the Fear of Sum's really good. You know, like when you when you think about like the Twisted Fate Elise deck, it's filled with two power things. My blade grows restless. Alright, so these will all be nine three. Nine three sound pretty good. So they like have to have like a vengeance and be able to heal their nexus as well. Which is definitely possible. But they have to have those two cards. It's just if they do have those two cards. I am in a lot of trouble. Oh yeah, I could have like harsh winds and stuff like that too. I want to play other things first, but that's just not the right thing. I wish we had one. If we had one more mana, you know, with the Poro snacks, I'd feel a little bit better. Be able to do that one extra point of damage in case of like uh, vengeance, vile feast. Looks like I should have played the patched portal bot before. Battle warms even the coldest heart. Would you believe he once fit in my hand? <laughs> so I was kind of doing some math of like what what we're gonna need to not die to. Not die to atrocity next turn. Well, it looks like looks like if they have this plus atrocity, it looks like we are gonna die. So if they have, because uh, you know I don't want to go like all in on on one thing anyway. This gives me a blocker and like my best blocker and you know puts that back into play. So you know if they had like the vengeance plus the frostbite plus the troll chant ruination, they have all that, and then they also have atrocity, and I guess I guess they had it all. Fury, that's not really that. Valuable. Yeah, because the the heart of the yeah, because you get this thing that has the last breath, you get get the heart of the fluffed afterwards. So nine mana. If I if I play both of these, that's six mana. 
to make these four and eight. I'm planning on discarding the patch portal bot for the portal cannon, but I think about ruination again. Okay, let's not ruination. Not ruination is good. It could still be atrocity though. Hopefully not. Not the best you got. All right, that's not atrocity. Okay. Game number three, so it'll be Tarek Draven versus that ramp deck. So we got to see their ramp deck a little bit. Um, you know, they're playing a bunch of ancient yetis and like the 7-6. We got lots of overwhelm in there. Saw a flash freeze, didn't see a harsh winds, but they had a flash freeze. Let's get rid of our two spells. The transfusion could be okay, but you know I wanted to look for two drop Draven, that kind of stuff. Pill Cascade's awesome. Like I'd rather have Pill Cascade than the transfusion with the Taric. So I want a two drop. That'll fit my hand better. I either want to draw Draven next turn, so I know to save the two mana for Pill Cascade and not play Solari Soldier. Okay, well now I just basically know to not play Solari Soldier. That hapless aristocrat. That's kind of annoying. Effectively block my Taric. I, must get out of here. I want Might. Might's a good card. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. So we'll play Solari Soldier now. Nothing escapes my watch. Follow the horizon. Alright, we're gonna have to fight through these things eventually anyway. And then next turn we'll play Legion Grenadier, and that will be one extra mana, so then we'll have two two extra mana, so I'll be able to play Taric and have Pill Cascade with Taric. Draw two. So still bank, bank, you know, I'm planning on banking the two mana. Safeguard our homes. Coming in hot. Obviously, an Avalanche would be very good, but you know, it just right now an Avalanche would basically be a three for three. Draw the extra card off of Avaros and Sentry. Don't worry, I am here. Admire me later. I basically just want to draw two cards at the Pell Cascade. Huh. Or not. I did. Too bad that Tarek was gonna be really good. Ice to meet you. Ah. It is me. So the big question is play Draven before combat or not. They cannot have Ruination next turn, because they'll just have six mana. So probably just six mana, it's probably better to play Draven before combat. Especially how I'll still have the mana for Couple of spells. Yeah. Time for the main event. Play Draven. Okay. Maybe it wasn't the best play. Explosives primed. Two mana five five. We're going to attack with you. You. Devotion you. Button. You. Let's boogie. This will shake him. They want to block the Legion. The 
saboteur with a spiderling. That's like the block that they want to make. And so I want to punish them for that block by making the Legion Saboteur have Overwhelm. I definitely think that they have spell that they're going to be playing in it. So I know I could transfusion and save the Kato, but I want to see what they do first. Okay. All right, so we can we can have one of we can save one of ours and kill one of theirs. So I can save. That's why Troll Chance just great. It just does two things. Troll Chance pretty great. So he can save Draven, kill Trundle, or save Kato, kill Ancient Yeti. I guess it's better to save Draven, kill Trundle. Fight the signal fires. Out. All right, that was a ton of my resources. I'm killing that Tarek really hurt. I mean, that just looks like a ruination play. Whoa, they do have Avalanche. Oh, I got punished for playing this 3-2 instead of Culling Striking the 3-3. Against Avalanche. Yeah, I wish I would've just Culling Striked the Trapper and then, you know, and then played this and not played the... Not played that. Oh. Not great. Not great. That was a clutch avalanche. Yeah, I wish I would just play Culling Strike. a disappointing loss. Both these games we lost in here. Very disappointing. Super close. Well, that's just the wrong challenge. That was just the completely wrong challenge. Love to have you earlier, Mike. Dang. Things like both, like both of those losses. I think that we'll win like seven out of ten times. Like I feel like we play those, but you know, we ended up losing really close ones. All right, here's our next one. Best two out of three. I'm banning one of these two. I don't. I feel like I maybe I'm supposed to be picking the Heimer Vi. To be honest. 
All right, we haven't played the Nightfall card yet. Let's try that one. But yeah, I may just ban go, you know, like go hard deck just every time. Okay. Well, these are pretty good. Yeah, I'll just take this. I can see getting rid of the fading memories, but that's fine. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. It's our time. I'm Revi. The reason why I'd want to buy ban I'm Revi is because it's a pretty high variance deck where sometimes you'll just run it over, and you know. Uh, that kind of stuff. But then other times, like, if they have a, a really good hand and and uh, have, like, the answers that line up for your stuff right away and then you know, have their champions, those champions can snowball. And it, it it can be the kind of deck that's that's very difficult to beat if they have the right hand. And I think that would be why maybe ban it because, like, the best Heimer Vi hand probably beats the best Tarek Draven hand, for example. So we'll have these onlookers for our next attack. <laughs> you think this is a Legion Marauder deck? I mean, I guess maybe. I, I doubt it. Yeah, that's that's a good card. Because the Blade's Edge can kill my Stygian onlooker. But the problem with that, of course, is that we get to kill our Katarina. All right, so overall that worked out pretty well for me. Discarded our rummage before. What do we got here? Look what I found. Anything else? There we go. Moonlight cloaks the land in silver. And then, of course, I'm planning on uh, challenging with the ephemeral. And we got leveled up Nocturne. I like this Arachnoid Sentry. Rude. Good chance I'm gonna fading memories the Arachnoid Sentry if they have like a a uh, you know like a Darius next turn. That's pretty scary. We could do something like that. Yeah, an O12. O12 is kind of scary. We just keep that thing in O12. We don't need that thing to be a 412. Honestly, this should probably be going upstairs because it's not like that precious that's going to be able to block anyway. Well, I mean, I guess unless they kill Nocturne, which they have to like kill Nocturne anyway. Dusk Rider would be huge. Let's have some fun. It's probably better to play two things. Mother Moon Okay, got the first one. 
Yeah, this deck does have really cool level up animations. Okay, so now we're playing against Time Rabai. Uh, I don't think they really play Static Shock. They definitely play the uh, Solari cards. I'll keep I'll keep the two of them. I have my orders. Please don't play Solari card. Just pass. Yay. Precious pet fits here of like we can play that, bank the spell mana. Discarded, get excited. Death doesn't scare me. We can do that too. Cool. Alright, down to eight. So I think. So I know this Crescent Guardian doesn't have Nightfall, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and play it because I just don't think there's going to be really another opportunity for me to play it. Um, our next attack turn is going to be turn 6. I'm planning on playing the Kato here on turn 5. One girl crew. Um, I don't want that to kill my Kato. If I pass, they may not attack. That's fine. I can play Kato. I was going to play Kato on turn 5 and then the other Kato on 6 with b then being able to have the 2 mana for the Pellcast Kato as well. Freeze. Cool. Yeah, kill that thing. Don't kill the Kato. It's Kato clock. It is me. So I think I'm going to do... Do we want to have Kato support Kato? Yuck. Everything's in place. Alright, let's just attack. We're going to lose some resources, but you know, like we, are, we do have Captain Farron. In two turns, we should be fine. Bring it. So now to four. It kills the Vi. So I can use Pill Cascade to save Kato, and I think it's probably that's probably worth it. I could see their card in hand being Hush, how they're like sitting about sitting there thinking about whether or not to cast Hush, like how it's just sitting here. So Okay, it's not Hush, that's that's cool. Take that. Yeah, Kato was silenced. Need a hand, little star. I have the best job. Sit us Forever Snooze Bottom. Alright, I'm not going to play the other Precious Pet. This Precious Pet is going to be Discard Fodder to Spitting Axe. We're going to keep the three spell mana for Might. Because we might want to play that. Out of my way. Out of my way. 
I'm Captain Farron. Yeah, I would like them to play 8 mana Thermogenic Beam. I'd be happy with that. Because that would be us killing them. I want to cast the Might on the Captain Farron. Hopefully they have something here. Yeah, good. Out of my way. Okay, we're two and one. All right, those of you all on YouTube, uh, we're gonna split this up into two parts. Uh, make this two two videos, so it's not you know, so it's not like a two and a half hour long video, with it already being about an hour and twelve minutes right now. Long, you know, the same length or longer than a normal video. All right, so that's so we're two and one so far. You know, we're back to two wins. We're gonna try to get to four wins. We're gonna see how we're uh, how we'll do there. Um, but yeah, we'll be back with Tarek Draven, Poros, Give It All, and Nocturne Nightfall for part two coming up right after this. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for part two.